Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Another year and again it's time to test Windows Defender against ransomware and see where we're at when it comes to real-time protection. As usual, we're going to use some of the most infamous threats from the last five years, including ransomware like Ryuk, Petya, WannaCry, all of that good stuff. And there are also new additions that we've picked up from the last few months. We're going to run a script that is going to automate the execution of these samples. Now, as some of you who've watched the channel know, we've had mixed results with this task before, so I'm curious to see if there are any improvements. So let the testing begin. So far, so good. We're seeing some detections from Windows Defender and a detection ratio of 90 plus percent, but I'm pretty sure we've got some ransomware to execute here. We've got F Society screen locking. <laughs> it's the jester that screen locked us. Let's try and get rid of that. We're gonna have to wait and see if any of our data is encrypted after the test, but so far it looks good. We don't have any ransom node on desktop yet, and we're almost done. So we've executed all 71 files and we've got three misses, interestingly. So Black Claw, F Society, and Scarab were not blocked immediately. Now that doesn't mean they were not blocked at all. They may have been blocked reactively or later on in the execution chain, but they were at least allowed to launch into memory. That's what the test tracks. Just out of curiosity though, you know what? I'm just gonna rerun this test because I swear, last time I ran this test, Scarab and F Society were blocked at least with the internet turned on. So go ahead and try to re-execute the test, see if we get the same result or if it starts doing something different. Okay, so now it's only Scarab. Now we actually have a ransom note showing up on the desktop, interestingly. So even though in theory, Windows Defender should be detecting all of these samples, if we take a look at our documents, they are actually encrypted by Scarab. And this is on Windows 11 with Windows Defender fully turned on, enabled. So that's a pretty big surprise as far as I'm concerned. Now in our previous test, Windows Defender did successfully protect our files in the online test. It didn't block these threats in the offline test, but guess the online detection is unreliable. I wasn't expecting this at all. <laughs> But it does seem like all our pictures and everything in the documents folder is now encrypted. Damn. And if we take a look at the extension, I think this is Scarab. So Scarab seems to be like an Achilles heel for Windows Defender because it was the one that was missed in one of the previous tests as well, but it was detected in a later test and now it's gone back to being missed. Now, I do want to do a couple of other tests to see how it goes, even though it's quite disappointing that it managed to let a ransomware, a well-known ransomware at this point, encrypt all of our data in the very first test. But we are going to restore to snapshot, and now we're going to try to run the same test, but offline. And we're going to try to test the offline protection of Windows Defender because we do know that it relies a lot on those cloud queries. And I just want to see what is the on-system component that's protecting our data and the system integrity. So here we go. Once again, Black Claw is not detected. Now I'm hearing my fans ramp up a lot more. So Windows Defender seems to be doing more analysis, taking up more resources when these samples are being run offline. You can see the CPU usage go all the way up to 25% when it's offline, almost 30% now, 35%. I think it is doing some sort of intensive static analysis, at least on these files, if not behavioral. But we'll see if uh, that results in a difference in terms of the outcome. Uh-oh, it seems like we're having more executions of ransomware as I would have expected, I suppose, now that it's offline and the cloud protection can't help. Our system is totally being encrypted and nuked right now, so I'm not going to bother waiting for this to complete. So we are back, uh, we're back online and we have one final test to run and this is gonna be slightly different. So we're not gonna run real ransomware for this one. 
Well, not technically. What we have is a simulated script that's going to try and encrypt our data in the same pattern that ransomware does. So we're going to have a public key and a private key. So it's going to use RSA. Obviously, it's going to use AES to encrypt the data. RSA for sharing the key with the attacker. We're going to set it up similarly. We have a Python script that does just that. So just need to run it. It's going to be called encrypt.py. And we want to see if Windows Defender is able to intercept this. There's no way Windows Defender would have raw signatures of this because we just wrote it ourselves. Just misspelled it there. So I'm just going to fix that. And as you can see, when we try it out, it says ransomware found and it does not execute successfully. So it is able to block threats without explicitly knowing them beforehand or having the specific hash in the cloud. So there is some kind of static analysis that's happening in the background, but it wasn't effective enough to prevent a real world threat from encrypting our data. And more importantly, the behavioral ransomware component did not notice the file encryption or any of the activities the ransomware data suspicious. So that's more my concern because if it's not able to block a well-known threat, is it really going to be able to block a zero-day ransomware that comes your way? Well, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If anyone from Microsoft is watching and you'd like to check out the sample, more than happy to help. Please like and share the video if you enjoyed it. The results were a bit of a surprise to me. I was expecting it to fail in the later parts of the test, but not so much the first part. I was expecting it to block the well-known threats with its signature and that didn't happen and I think it may surprise many others so don't forget to share this video if you'd like to do something similar for your business or would like to do a full MITRE evaluation feel free to contact us at tpsc.tech and now to our sponsors this video is brought to you by Acronis Cyber Protect Home Office a product that actually ties in all the different aspects of ransomware protection that I talk about all the time first one backup it's got on system as well as cloud backup built in so you can recover from any ransomware attack. It's also got real time protection against ransomware and illicit crypto mining. If you go into settings, it's got all the bells and whistles. It can protect your NAS, it can protect your backup files. Very important. It's also got proper real time protection along with behavioral monitoring so it can detect malicious behavior in process, web filtering as well, and even a vulnerability assessment module. But hey, this is the PC security channel, so we got to test this, right? As usual, I have my script ready to go. We've got Malix right here, and we're going to run all the ransomware samples. We usually do infamous threats from the last five years and see what happens. It's going by pretty fast, but as you can see, things are getting blocked, and we end up with a proactive detection of 100%. This is a truly unique product in its class right now. You can also get a full 30% off if you decide to buy it using the coupon code TPSC22. So check them out and show them some love for supporting the PC security channel. Thank you so much for watching and as always, stay informed, stay secure.